Here is my jungle boogie. I am honestly <sighs> obsessed with her. And she's quickly becoming one of my favorite philodendrons, aside from the summer glory, of course. But I love her and she's pushing out new growth. Like I at least get, I don't know, one or two weekly, sometimes more. And like right now she's already about to unfurl one. She just finished unfurling one. And then she also has a new growth point over here. She makes me so happy. I love her. And also I have not propagated an upright philodendron before. And I am thinking about propagating her, but it just makes me nervous. Um, the plants that I have 0% success rate in propagating are aglaonemas and any kind of peperomias. I don't care what kind it is. Um, and no matter how many different things I read online saying do this or do that, try this, try that, just nothing. But I feel confident enough that I can propagate this successfully. I don't know. I've been thinking about it. I would just do a top cutting right here, but we'll see. Fast forward to today, this is my jungle boogie cutting. So this is actually my second one I've done. The first one I gave to a subscriber and then here is this baby. She's cute, she stays in the cabinet and I water her once a month. Okay, if you didn't watch my philodendron tour video, go watch it. I'm glad I did it because I realized actually quite a few of my philodendrons do need to repot. So I basically have a good problem right now because last night as I was staring at my plants, I realized baby boy, I don't know if you can see, but his roots are already growing out the pot. And not only that, he needs a taller bamboo, um, bamboo support. And then my squammy that's behind me, I need to put him on some kind of support as well. And then also my Philodigion Florida Beauty, which is like probably four feet tall right now. Like the she's growing roots out of the pot too. So I'm actually excited about these. And it's a good problem when you have to up pot your plants. But yeah, I'm going to just put him in a bigger planter, um, same soil. I just have a chunky soil mix regular potting soil, perlite, pumice, worm castings, orchid bark. I'll put it in this. So I'm going to upsize it to this one. I don't know the dimensions of this one. This one is probably a 12 or so. And this is probably an eight, I think. Um, it's gonna be completely fine in this, what, four inches or more planter. Um, yeah, so no worries. Okay, I did have a, another plant in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and poke these out before I plant it.
Okay, so this is extremely top heavy. I don't know if you can see, but look the part I'm holding and then right under it, the stem difference. I'm just now realizing that now that it's off the bamboo support. It's a complete difference. This is probably like, I don't know, over an inch thick up here and then down here is so tiny. So I'm gonna have to be extremely careful repotting this so I don't break a stem. I went to one of my favorite local nurseries and they always have these bamboo sticks so I'm going to put it on this very tall one. Yes it looks extremely tall but the way Mr. Boogie has been growing it's going to be just fine. And so I put him in there first and then you'll see I ended up going ahead and securing him on there so it was easier for me to repot because I was very nervous I didn't want to like um, pop a stem, break a stem or anything and it turned out good. My goodness, doesn't Mr. Boogie look so much better? He's a king fitted for this pot. It looks more proportionate. And now that he's staked up properly and not on a short stick, he's not bending over like he was before. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 